Hey you guys, today I am so excited to be partnering with Sephora to bring you one of my favorite videos of the year, the Sephora Savings Event. I'm going to share with you all of my recs, items that I'm going to be grabbing during the sale, and a lot of new things that I am just so, so excited to share with you. So today, November 1st through the 11th, all Beauty Insider members can save 30% on all Sephora collection items, which y'all know I'm obsessed with their brushes. I have one that's very unique that's in my cart that I'll link to below that we'll talk about in a second. The Sephora collection items are just so high quality and affordable, and every time I ever do a Sephora savings event video, or really like any sort of Sephora Rex, right? I always for years have said that I love the Sephora collection brushes, but Rouge members can start today, November 1st through the 11th, save 20%. VIBs and insiders can begin shopping with the code on the 5th of November through the 11th. Uh, VIBs 15%, insiders 10%, and I'll put the code below. The code's the same for everybody, but depending on your tier, you know that's when the different dates open up, and I will put all that info below. If you're unsure, you know you can go to your account and figure that out, but if you're not a Beauty Insider member, go check it out. I will put the link below to where you can join. So many great perks, discounts, promotions. I love their same day delivery option. You can buy online, pick it up in store. So, so many great benefits. I'm really excited. Let's just get right into it, you guys. So I wanted to make it easy on you guys. Everything that I'm talking about in this video is going to be linked below in one post. So when you see that link below, when you go to it and you're like, oh, you know, I'm curious about your mascara or, you know, you see something in the video specific that you like, it is all there. You click that, it's pictures of everything. You can shop you know, very easily. Also, all the shade details are gonna be in that post as well. So many great things. Um, this is much later in the day. The sun might start coming coming in. I did sort of like a more like cleaner, kind of simple makeup look this morning. It stayed on and I'm gonna kind of show you what I used um, as we go. But something that I've really been into, I very, you know, turned 40 this year. I love cream products that do not break me out. And we'll, you know, we'll get into that. I love kind of that natural skin finish. But I do like to have a powder that is very like light, fresh, very finely milled, great ingredients. I love this particular cloud set powder. And there's a new shade called Candy. And it's this really beautiful pink. And I haven't touched up today, but when you do your makeup, this is where I like to kind of put that. And it just kind of like lifts your face. And it's a really great kind of brightening powder if you must powder this area or you have some textural issues and you really kind of like to do that, you know? This is a great color to do that. I buy a lot of really great gifts during this time as well, but I brought down this perfume. If you guys watched my beach vlog, I brought this along and I've had this for a long time. It's the Tom Ford Vanilla Sex and it's this kind of layered, it's vanilla, but it's like kind of layered, you know, it's not just straight vanilla. It's so sweet, you know, really like sexy. It's very like intriguing, very like mysterious vanilla. I really do like this one a lot and I always get compliments when I wear that. It's about half the bottle and it is one of my go-tos and I think having a really good luxury vanilla perfume I think is such a great thing to have in your collection. If you're just gonna wear it alone like I do, I like to layer this with other things as well so it's a great one to have. You know we've talked about like contouring and all this. You don't need to really do all that. I've used products that are more like balm-like and this is just my favorite. This is probably the third one that I've had. You can put it on like that and just apply it very simply and it just warms up your skin or not warms it it just makes it look alive rather than like so harshly contoured it just gives your skin some life especially like when you really perfect your skin with foundation or whatever you're going to use you give it some dimension with this and it's kind of like an all-in-one product use it on your forehead wherever it's so foolproof and then my blush you guys oh i love this so many different shades of these. I use the cheeky shade today. You can put it right on like that, apply it just on the go. Such a nice texture. They last, I mean, you can see I've had mine on all day. Um, just layering this right over, use your fingers, use a brush. Sometimes I'll just go in with a brush like that. Um, but it is one of my favorite things. Blush is a must, especially this year. Why, for whatever, blush is just really trending. It's having a moment, but blush is always something that I've really, really enjoyed. But my all-time favorite is Stockholm, which is like more of a pink, and it's actually gonna be my upcoming empties video. I just used the whole thing. It's in this set. Now, last year I bought this same set, but it was three different colors. 
This one has Mood, Stockholm, and Bespoke. And Bespoke is a new limited edition color. So there's the Stockholm, it's more pink. The other ones are a little kind of closer to this, almost like a little mauve -ier, a little more like a hint of like a brownish. This would make such an incredible gift, but you look at the, these last so long, okay? These are slightly smaller. I used mine from last year. I'm still like barely even denting the ones that I got last year. So great, great size. Now for my eyes, today I didn't do eyeliner. I used just eyeshadow really quickly. I was getting out the door very quick this morning. Stick eyeshadow is something that I, it's a must for me, okay? This is so good. It is the rare, all of the above weightless eyeshadow stick in contentment. This is the perfect shade. I'm all about an easy eyeshadow look. Today I got out the door so quick and I just wanted you know, just something easy, clean looking, like nothing, but still I wanted a little bit of color. I didn't do um, eyeliner or anything today, but I used this. It is the Rare Beauty. It's the eyeshadow stick in contentment. This is my favorite, like, everyday color. It glides right on. You can blend it in with your finger, but my all-time favorite. This is just a must-have brush. Get this brush. I have been talking about this brush for a long time. I love it, okay? It's so great for these cream um, shadows that we use and then I put on a little bit of mascara this is this is this is the must-have mascara okay I've been using this for a little while now and I am really really impressed it's the exaggerize the I've never seen I, I don't believe I've ever seen a mascara container in a glass a glass tube uh, but it's got the brush that I like. This is my favorite type of mascara brush, ideal. It builds so quickly, so beautifully, and it's just such a dramatic volumized look. Another eyeshadow recommendation, I just, this is my favorite powder eyeshadow. It's, I mean, I've used mine so much. It is the Necessary Eyeshadow Palette, and it is, okay? So good. This is the best brush, a different brush by that same brand as the other one perfect for powder eyeshadows it just lays it on so beautifully so that's kind of my must-haves for the makeup look that i have on today now i want to get into some new things okay i grabbed this highlighter it's in the shade glint and it's like a creamy highlighter and it is the perfect color for highlighters i don't like anything too bright and pearly silvery i don't like anything too yellowy or gold this is just ideal and it's that like very skin-like natural look that I really love. Again, I think the cream really does look so much more natural and it really kind of lays on my skin in a more flattering way. This is so cool. This is what I wore this morning. It's the Ilia Lip Sketch Hydrating Crayon. I put this on this morning. I've touched up just with a gloss here and there, but this is my original, original, okay? Has hyaluronic acid, which is nice for a pencil it's got like seaweed some some really like skin loving hydrating ingredients but it lasts a really long time so it's kind of like a chunkier pencil you can use it as your lip liner you can kind of like fill it in and it's got a really nice just matte you know finish but a comfortable matte finish and then you know what I do throughout the day is I just kind of you know mm -mm -mm, just touch it up a little this is my favorite lip gloss the glazed by lawless this is also i don't believe this exact color but all of these forget the filler lip glosses are amazing and i believe they have a set of those that has a lip gloss and it also has the forget the filler um like the lip balm which is one of my favorites i've gone through two of those i should have brought that to show um but it does come in a kit which is really nice something else about this this also comes in a set of three, like three different colors, wearable, beautiful colors, but I always like them to have like a very wearable tone to them, which these seem to. And there is a set of three that I will link to that is in my cart that I'm definitely going to pick up during the event. Um, grab this. I love, I've talked about this peptide lip balm. Love it so much. Just, this is always in my purse. It's just a go-to for me. Gifts. Okay. I thought this was so cute. Lip Butter Balm, Summer Fridays. Um, comes with vanilla, vanilla beige, iced coffee, and brown sugar. Okay, yum. All of these look pretty ideal. I want to keep this for a gift. I want to keep this so bad for a gift. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to order another one for myself because I really want to try these out. And I love just a little simple lip balm like that. 
and these look really nice, the mini neutrals. And then y'all know how much I love this perfume, the Ariana Grande, just the regular cloud. It is such a good one, okay, such a good one. And it also comes with cloud pink. And it's a very, very unbelievable price for this set. So I was really impressed with that. I'll link to a few others that I'm gonna get for gifts because that's that's I get so many gifts during this event. It's just such a good time to, to stock up. Another lip liner. I got the Makeup Forever um, Lip Pencil and Anywhere Caffeine. This is a little more brown. So when I want like a I mean, I've got so many lip products on. I don't know. I just open a lip pencil and I just feel like I need to use it. Um, it's a little more brown. It's a great brown lip pencil. This I've talked about before. I love, I feel like this is going to last me forever. The Dry Shampoo by The Crown Affair. Talc-free powder-based dry shampoo. With good ingredients. Um, <laughs> I am on my uh, second... Or third, no, second day here. What I like to do, there's already a little bit in the lid. I sprinkle just a little bit in the lid. The brush is so like luxe and nice. Like, okay, I mean, if my hair were down, but this is good because sometimes, like, when you have pieces, you know, they get a little funky. You can kind of go like that and then just kind of refresh the whole vibe of your hair. Remember when I first got this, I demoed it on my hair when it was down and it was like, wow. Um, I don't know. I just really love this stuff and I think it's. A really nice alternative to um, aerosol dry shampoo. I have Vegamore Grow Hair Serum. This is something that I have really been enjoying. So when my hair is damp, because really you can use it on dry hair, but you know sometimes I will. Like if I'm at home or whatever, and I'm just, but it doesn't leave like a crazy residue. Like it's not like super super oily. Um, you can definitely use it and then just like put your hair up or whatever. Use some dry shampoo, go about your day. Um, but I like to use it on damp hair when I get out of the shower, not when it's soaked, but when it's a little damp, I kind of work it in. So it has so many like great ingredients. It's going to really promote hair growth, thickness, all the good things. So I think this is cool. I, I, y'all know I am, my hair is so long now, but I have been really embracing like my natural color, my, you know, for years I haven't really done much to it. I've just kind of been just enjoying it, but I am lazy with my hair. And most of the time, this is what you get, okay? It's just up, it's whatever. Uh, so I'm surprised sometimes when I bring it down, I'm like, whoa, this is what it looks like. It's been looking really healthy lately, and I'm very excited to like really get into this a lot more because I haven't had it too long. Um, so I'm really excited to see the results from this, but something that I would definitely add, I think anyone would benefit from that. It's just it's a good idea, okay? Taking care of your scalp as a scalp oil serum, always a good idea. In the winter, you know, our skin gets drier. We, you know, I definitely shift my skincare a bit. A lot of times we don't think about that with our body. And I have very dry skin in the winter. Really all the time I have to, I use lotion like twice a day, in the morning and at night. And in the winter, I get very dry skin. As we all, okay, we've all, we all can relate. Uh, I wanted a really rich body butter that I could use, you know, daily or maybe like for this one, it's so rich and so nourishing that I truly only need to do it like, you know, I'll, I'll do it like maybe every other day, every three days and in between just like use my regular stuff. But this is the Cloud Rapid Hydration and Barrier Repair Cream by 54 Thrones. And this is, okay, it's for your skin barrier. It really is thick. It's rich. I didn't want a basic butter. Okay. I did not have any body butter left. I've used all the, all that I got. I wanted something that was so rich and nourishing. Read the ingredients on this. It's just beautifully sourced and thick. Okay. It is a thick, like no nonsense body butter. Now the scent is like vanilla honey. There's a couple different scents. I have the vanilla honey. When you smell it, it doesn't really, Oh, hello. It doesn't really smell in the thing like heavy fake scent which I appreciate. When you put it on, it's like, whoa, okay, thick. I love that. Right away when you smell it, it's gonna smell like the beautiful natural ingredients. It's, it really smells just like nourishing, like natural ingredients. And I thought, wow, it's not heavily scented, which I appreciate. Give it 15 minutes, give it 20 minutes. When it like sinks into your skin, my husband was like, wow, like my skin feels like butter. I put it on my chest. It just, my skin feels like butter. I get really dry around here. I don't know what it is. I always like get, 
like weird dry skin there. It feels so nice. And as it sinks into your skin, it starts smelling sweet like candy, like natural, like a beautiful natural honey vanilla that doesn't honestly, right away, it doesn't do it justice. Like you're not gonna smell it right away. And I like that because it's truly not some heavily like fake perfumed product. It really is beautiful. And okay, so here it is. Ugandan vanilla and Ethiopian honey. Okay, so like I said, the, the ingredients are fascinating to read about, but it's starting to get a little sweeter. It just, it, it works with your, I don't know if it's like a chemistry thing, if it works with your body heat and then the true like scent of it starts coming out. But it is such a great product if you struggle with dry skin. Um, truly, truly like a barrier cream, okay? It's unlike any other body butter I've ever tried. So a cool product and it makes your skin glow. Okay, these plumping glosses from the Sephora collection. I love them, okay? This is probably my favorite one. Outrageous, full plumping volume effect, so cool. I love a lip plumper, love them, but I don't want ones that are very hot and like tingly and make my lips look red. I like ones that are tingly and more cooling that really plump your lines, makes your lips look smooth, and that's what this one does. Some of the best lip plumper you can buy, and they have a lot of different shades. Um, I wanna get one that's in a more like nude shade. It's more of like a minty vibe than like those that smell really hot, you know what I mean? Which aren't my favorite. I'm just gonna have so much lip products on, I don't even care, but this is like one of those throw in your purse, put it on over things, put it on alone, just the best friend like lip product, right? A few more things before I talk about what is in my, I know this is a lot, you guys, but you guys, we do this every year, and we just, we get into it. I always have one of these in my purse, and I actually have one in my makeup drawer, the Merit Minimalist Foundation Stick. Nothing better to touch up with during the day. Just a little here, a little there. And it's just like one of those things that just blends in easily. It's layers beautifully. Um, when we went to the beach, this is the only foundation that I wore. And when I say that, like I literally just put it where I needed it, blended it in and left and it just melted into my skin. Like it's just one of those easy products to use. You can use it with your fingers with a brush. I like to use it with a brush. But when I'm on the go, it's just great. Like if I have redness under your eyes, you can, it's just one of those easy like, you know, put it anywhere, touch up in two seconds, or like if you didn't have time to do your makeup in the morning, throw this in your bag and go. So great. And um, I'll put all my shades below. I'm the shade Linen in this. Get this eye cream. Just trust me, I have tried so many different ones. The Shiseido Benefiance. I need to get another one of these. Hmm. Throw that in my cart. Again, the Lawless. I just, this this brand, I just love it so much. The Forget the Filler. This is the shade Whisper. And I talked about these a long time ago. We've, you know, we've we've discussed these. A lot of times like a plumping lip balm like this that come in a lot of different colors end up just all looking the same. Um, you know, they all kind of end up with that pinky effect, not these. These actually stay true to color. The Whisper is a beautiful nude. But in my cart, uh, the things that I told you about, okay, I'm gonna get another one of these Merit um, trios for a friend of mine for Christmas. I think I'm gonna get another one of these. Um, the sets that I have below, there's that great Lawless set. There's so many great gift sets. That's really kind of what I'm gonna be buying during the event. This set of these Ilia pencils, so good. And a highlighter brush from the Sephora collection. Again, the brushes are amazing. One of my favorite foundation brushes of all time is by the Sephora collection, which I will link to as well. But this one is like a highlighter brush, which you guys know, my favorite highlighter brush for years was by the Sephora collection and it was very old. I don't know if they still make the exact one, but it was a little puffy on the end. The one they got now is like, okay, this is the one I need because I could use it with my cream highlighter. I could use it with like a stick highlighter, of course a powder, but instead of it being a little fluffier, it's very, um, you know, it's fluffy and soft, but it's a little more um, precise. Um, it's a little rounded on the end. It just looks like such a beautiful brush. Look at your stash. Stock up on skincare that you might be running out of, shampoo, a favorite hair product, um, tools, beauty tools. But y'all, thank you so much for watching. And again, big thanks to Sephora for partnering with me today. I had such a blast talking about these things. And I always have like an extra excitement around this because I know the holidays are coming. This particular Sephora savings event is when I really, again, hone in on buying those gifts. 
and um, it's just a, it's it's just an exciting time. So I hope that you guys get excited to shop again. If you have any questions about the the dates or anything, it's all going to be in writing below. I'm going to link to everything. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. And um, I will see you guys very soon.